happy Friday. <laughs> so I'm currently finished with my last thing that I have on Fridays on campus and I'm walking back to my car and my friend Reem likes to roller skate while I enjoy the pleasures of walking long distances. But she went ahead and bladed with me for like a solid five to 10 minutes and then she took off whenever we got to a hill. But I'm currently walking up to my car now. I'm curious, since I parked below her balcony, to see if she's out there looking for me to see if I am coming or not. <laughs> so I can totally see her doing that. I'm gonna see if that's what she's doing or not. So I'm going up this alleyway. That red car straight ahead. It's my baby. <sighs> but yeah, so I have a recital tonight. And it's my first like actual real performance, more formal performance in Austin. So I'm super excited about that. But also nervous because my, my students are going to be listening to me. So it needs to be perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Nope, no ream. See the kitchen lights on though. <laughs> oh well, maybe next time. But yeah, so I am performing in like a faculty recital for one of the schools that I teach at. And we're gonna see how it goes because again, like I said, this is my first performance in Austin. Uh, I mean, not really. I've performed for our department before um, at a Christmas party. And, but that was like super informal, not, too stressful or anything like that but it's interesting now to be on the other side of this because this is my first time performing where my students are coming to hear me play so uh, I have all sorts of emotions about it it's exciting exhilarating but I'm also nervous and everything because their parents are gonna be there too and it's like I'm paying this person to teach my kids so what am I getting out of it you know so I got to prove myself a little bit um, to convince them that they're in good hands, kind of. It's kind of like that situation a little bit. But anyways, I will insert a clip hoping that I can find something I'm at least happy about in the 11 minute or so piece that I'm going to play, and I'll insert that here. Hey guys, so it is now the next day after my recital. Um, and just, I guess to be clear, it wasn't like my solo recital, it wasn't my recital, but one of the schools again, I think I, I mentioned that before. Uh, but it went really well. I'm actually pretty happy with how it, it did go with my piece. Uh, as you heard a snippet of it, um, I think it went really well. There were definitely times where uh, I had some squeakiness going on, as we like to uh, call it in the clarinet world, but like the room itself was pretty cold actually and it was very dry and it's not a very acoustical room, like it's just a regular space, like a classroom. Oh my gosh, Mia, <laughs> you scared me. It's like, what was that on my leg? Um, but, uh, you know, I did the best with what I could. I was fourth out of five on the program, so being a woodwind instrument, I was the only one with a reed and having to make sure that stayed, you know, wet and all of that good stuff, uh, making sure that my instrument was warm and everything. It's a little, compli uh, a little more complicated than just picking up an instrument, starting to play, or um, 
like playing piano uh, or something. They were all pianists except for um, a flute. We did have a flute player and a trumpet player, which was awesome. Uh, but yeah, so some of my bends and my pitches uh, were not happening very well, and I think it's just because my reed was too dry. Uh, and obviously nerves need to be a little bit of a factor as well, but the piece itself did not fall apart really, and it went really, really well. Very happy with it. Maybe in the future I can like perform it again and just get it even better or getting a little more confi uh, confident with it and comfortable. But this was my first performance with my new clarinet and I hadn't even thought about that until today. Earlier this morning I was like that was the first time I performed anything on my new Selmer Privilege that I got back in February of this year. And so that was super exciting and that's partially I think why some of the stuff wasn't happening for me because with the mouthpiece I play on on this clarinet for some reason it's just not as flexible um, as my other mouthpiece and I thought about switching mouthpieces but decided not to and anyways it's just a lot of uh, semantics whenever it comes to performing uh, that people don't think about uh, but yeah so Thank you so much for watching this video, and it was just a short little video about my music aspect of my life, so uh, through my channel, I'm just trying to bring you guys in on a lot of different areas that uh, pertain to my life, and I know some people are like, oh, you shouldn't do that, your channel should focus only on one facet and all this stuff, but that's not me. <laughs> I don't think most people just have one area of their life and that's it. They have multiple areas and for me to have fun with this channel and with my audience and everything, I feel like I should bring you guys in on everything in my life because this channel is more of a vlogging thing than anything. To talk about things going on in my life, things going on in the news that you know I might want to discuss or don't like, you know, different aspects, cooking, health, uh, nutrition, all this great stuff. I have a video that I want to do. Um, I'm trying to do a garden, and so you know, bringing you guys into that. So it might not be exciting for some of you, you know, but you know, just trying to please everyone is not going to happen. And so I just want to be me, and that's why I'm like, oh, this video is about gardening. This video is about cooking. This video is about this and that. So you know, watch what you. Watch what you want to, you know, just because you're subscribed to a channel doesn't mean you have to watch every single video. Uh, just watch the ones that pertain to you and just spread the love, right? <laughs> but anyways, just wanted to update you guys on how it went and I'm happy with it. I am and I'm not uh, just because the only thing that went wrong really was that I squeaked in places I normally don't squeak and I don't know why or what happened, but I think it was more just the environment that I was in. Uh, but anyways, uh, if there are any musicians out there, drop a comment below, like, what are some difficulties you face with your instrument and performing? Uh, what are some of your favorite things to perform? What type of music? Obviously, from this video, you got to see that I like to play more modern, contemporary music. I do have some classical training, but that is not what I necessarily enjoy playing. Uh, so, you know, let me in on what you guys like to play. Um, if there are any musicians that are subscribed to my channel, which I think there are, uh, and it doesn't matter what you play, just drop some comments below, let me know, bring me into your world a little bit. Don't forget to smash that like button and to also subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every week. And also, if you are new, introduce yourself, let me know. It looks like I'm getting some subscribers, but the interaction is still kind of like, mm, a little not happening, so please, please, just let me get to know you too. Say hello. Uh, say anything. Say you hate this video. Say you're not a musician. Uh, like, if you were, what instruments are you interested in playing? You know, fill me in. Just anything. And I hope to see you again soon. Okay, bye.